Pointy Nerdigans. This is the one and only Packer Girl 89. Today's manga Nerdigan Live reaction video is going to be for Pokemon Sword and Shield chapters 1 and 2. And uh, yes, there is a Pokemon manga for Sword and Shield. And no, I have not played the games on the Switch because one, I'm poor. Two, ah, for Christ's sake, I don't even have a home yet. I lost my home when my boyfriend died back in September so oh, it's been a goddamn struggle these past few months oh. um but if you'd like to donate the game uh please hit me up because I would love to play the game uh but anyway so basically I'm going into this manga blind just like I went into uh Pokemon um uh, Sun and Moon manga blind and fuck going into uh, especially like um, the black and white slash black and white 2 uh, arcs of uh, Pokemon Avengers blind I'm going into this manga completely blind so anyway let's get to chapter 1 first and see what's in store for me um huh Z Zigzagoon are you a Zigzagoon I heard that in uh, Galar uh, Pokemon from uh, other regions have different types and appearances it's really true huh and I'm curious if some of these Pokemon are even in, uh, ga in the game because I know there's no national decks, uh, in the in um, uh, Sword and Shield. So yeah, let me know in the comment section. Which again, I still think is bullshit. A new adventure begins. And if you guys want the link uh, to this manga, you know what? I'll provide the link in the description box below, actually. Uh, what? Pangoro and Galar? Are that huge? It vanished! What? Wait. This mo so Sword and Shield is supposed to be, uh, in Europe. I can't remember. Like, the British Isles or some shit like that. Why are there panda bears there? This is Pokemon logic. Ow! Ow! Hey! Are you all right? Um, I'll get you down uh, from there now. Uh, I'm counting on you. Damn weird. I guess they're not gonna make it work with Sword and Shield. Well, at least so far they haven't made it work yet. Marvin, I see. We were preparing to set up camp here. Then you came running towards that cliff with a horrible yell. Why in the world did you jump off that cliff? Was it a test of courage or did some bullies tell you to jump off? Oh, I know. It was a scary Pokemon chasing you and then before you knew it, you, uh, shilly shush. That's not it. A gigantic uh, Pangoro appeared, then it disappeared all in the blink of an eye. When I went to get a closer look at it, I... Oops, 
oopsie, uh, don't you oopsie me. This is your fault, isn't it, Shelly? My bad, Marvin. Aren't you being a little informal? Or it's fine. Uh, what's going on? I was performing a, a Dynamax simulator experiment here. I thought it'd be okay since people rarely uh, come out to this area. You see, the Dynamax sim uh, simulator is one of a... Uh, uh, just to be sure, you didn't mishear one of uh, as uh, Unova, did you? Anyways... Ah! Connected to Unova! Anyways, um, I'm talking about a hologram, a device that displays three-dimensional images. I made it! It makes it look like there's actually a giant Pokemon! Shelly, shush! Um, I'm, I'm sorry. Can I just say thank you to the boy and uh, Pokemon who saved me earlier? Um. Ah, oh, fuck. Don't freeze on me now, uh, Ted Manga, you piece of crap. There we go. Uh, of course, right this way. After we go through here, uh, you've got to be quiet. No yelling, all right? So, uh, we're coming in. This boy Marvin says that, uh, he wants to thank you and, uh, Sir, uh, and Sir Fesh. Um, weren't we supposed to be quiet? Huh? Ooh, there's the starters! Yay! We're seeing the starters. Um, that's the same person. Hey, come on, Sue. Oh, sorry, Shelly. How long have you been been here? Sheesh, Sue. Just how hard were you focusing? Oh, you're awake? Uh, oh, you're awake? Were you hurt at all? I'm okay. Thank you for saving me. Or do you mind if I ask what you're doing? Just a bit of maintenance on uh, uh, Sir Fetch's uh, leak, uh, leak stock. Um, uh, Sue's a gearmeister, you know. Gear? Uh, farfetch, uh, farfetch, uh, leaks, marowak, uh, bones, uh, samurai, um, uh, uh, semi-tears, uh, oh wait, semi-tars, wargrams, holy shit. Delphox, uh, branches, um, gooder, um, girder, uh, steel beams, uh, gear is the term, Sue, when it made, uh, up for the tools that Pokemon use. When it made up, that's a little harsh, wouldn't you say? I kind of like that word, that gear, that... Gear, make, gear makes a lot of sense for that. You could say quip, um, even though that's in fairy tale. That's Urza's term for her shit. But I kind of like that. That makes a lot of sense. But whatever. Uh, Pokemon need their gear for their daily lives as well as in battle. Gear gets worn out as it's as it's used. I fix it, um, maintain it, and make sure it stays um, in prime condition. Come over here, Grokey. If you're team Grokey, I want to know in the comment section. Grokey, the chimp Pokemon, it's gear is the stick. If I do this, the grain will become perfectly straight, making it firmer and stronger. There's so much goddamn phrasing in that sentence. You might want to re reward that, I swear to God. Oh, uh, wow. All right, you should come uh, try my Dynamax simulator next. Uh, wait a moment, Shelly. Uh, we don't want to scare anyone or cause any accidents again, so just use your VR goggles. True, that way is, uh, is super amazing too. Are you okay with that, Marvin? Sorry, but... What exactly is a Dynamax? Um, I just moved to this region, so I don't know much about anything here. For real? For starters, put this on in battle. Then you'll understand what Dynamaxing is. Uh, switch on. Wah! Wah! <laughs> um, it's starting now. I'm gonna use my Score Bunny. Uh, you don't have any Pokemon, do you, Marvin? Try battling with my Surfetch, then. Um, wait a second. Wait a second. Um... What should I call you two? I still don't know your names. Um, I'm Sudo Sarugi. You can call me, uh, Sue, whatever works for you. I'm, um, uh, Shildemula, uh, Tate. Call me Shilly. Uh, I'm Professor Magnolia. You don't have to call me Mag, um, Maggie, though. P Professor, what would that, wait, would that make me Barbie? <laughs> so, unless there's some transla translations into Sword and Shield. We, we haven't gotten the sword and shield names this time in the, with the main characters. Which I find very fascinating. Because usually with Pokemon manga, usually the main characters are... There's a twist with the titles in there. And it's usually goddamn obvious. Okay, so now uh, we're at chapter two. Um, uh, here we go. A max uh, dine adventure through the Gala region. Do, do, do. Oh, it says manga releases are typically found on manga decks first. So make sure you go. I, maybe I need to. Here's the thing, though. I'm not going to lie. I fucking. And I know people like manga decks. But god damn it. I hate them on. I've tried using manga decks before. But sorry if you 
prefer using manga decks? I fucking hate the manga decks reader. The manga decks reader is a pain in my goddamn ass. I freaking hate it. I hate when it ha when you have to use when it's when uh the readers like single page readers. They are fucking annoying as hell. I prefer when you have all the um uh pages in one uh, on one um um you know one continuous page it's so much easier to do live reactions that way because you don't have to wait for the fucking page to load oh my god i fucking oh god i tried doing it with jojo uh when i did my jojo part five live reactions i had to use manga decks it was horrible oh i fucking hate manga decks i hate 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 manga decks for that reason sorry I know, I, I know I should try and use manga, de like, to be, like, on top of shit. I should use manga decks, but motherfucker, I hate the manga decks reader. And that is my rant on manga decks. But anyway, let's keep going. Uh, uh, um, er, um, Soda Suruki, uh, uh, she'll, de um, de uh, oh, God. Uh, she'll definitely, uh, uh take to Professor Magnolia. I know I butchered pronunciations, but deal with it. Come on, Marvin, I told you to call me Shelly. More importantly, hurry up and put on the VR goggles. Eek! At least, uh, I wish that manga would have everything on one page like they usually do. I don't know what the fuck ha is going on with them. They're having, at least they have, like, three pages, uh, on one page. It's better than one. Fuck. Um, Shelly, we've got to put on, uh, put ours on, too. Oh, right. You guys, too. All right, let's do this, Marvin. Do what, exactly? Beat this Fangora to battle, obviously. But I've never battled before. Seriously? Uh, I do know how they work, though. You unleash a move and decrease the opponent's stamina until they're unable to battle. If you want to make a wild opponent a part of, uh, of your team, you have to throw a Pokeball before they faint. At least you know that much. Uh, you'll be just fine. Well, unless you're playing Pokemon Go, which... I'm not gonna lie, I've gotten, like, very addicted to. I've gotten very addicted to Pokemon Go. Um, the only thing that sucks about, um, oh god, I can't wait until the Pokemon Bank, the ship for Pokemon Bank opens up so I can transfer all my shit, um, into, uh, into, uh, um, Sword and Shield. That's when I'll get... You know what? That's when I'll try and really save money for Sword and Shield is when I can transfer my shit from, like, Pokemon Go and Pokemon Let's Go um, into uh, Sword and Shield. Because I have... Because uh, I want to be able to transfer my... Because I have my Mew on um, uh, um, Pokemon Let's Go because that's why I bought Pokemon Let's Go in the first place was so I can get my Mew. I ain't doing shit until I can transfer my Mew. That's, that's the whole point. Because... For those of you that don't know, Mew is my favorite Pokemon of all times. I, I, God, I have so many Mew plushies. It's not even... I, I'm, I've, I've gotten... Oh, God. I, how many Mew plushies did I buy? I bought two Mew plushies at Crunchyroll Expo this past year. I With my Amazon gift card, I got my Christmas... Um, limited edition Christmas uh, Pokemon Center Mew plushie. God. I think I have... I think I have, like, six Mew plushies now that I've gotten over the years. Yeah, I've gotten, like, six now. Oh, God. I think that my goal is to collect all the Mew plushies I can. <laughs> I'm collecting Japanese Mew plushies, mainly. I think I only have, uh, one American... Yeah, I only have one American Mew plushie, and that is my, um... A.K.A. Atomi Mew plushie. And that is my limited edition, um, uh, 20th anniversary one. And it's still in the box. Uh, but anyway. If you know at, le uh, at least that much, you'll be just fine. Uh, let's try this out together. Professor, get it started. All right. Eek! Don't run away. But it, fe it felt like I was, uh, I was getting shocked. Um, uh, it's better if it, uh, feels like you actually get attacked, right? That's why I use high-frequency electricity to, uh, let you feel the move's impact. Shelly is a fucking masochist! She, bitch, you are a masochist! Uh, but that doesn't mean you'll actually get hurt. It is painful, though, so that shot might, uh, might kill, might kill you. What? Bitch is a masochist! Professor, please pause it for a moment. Marvin, where did you learn about Pokemon battles? Why were you able to approach the giant, uh, Pangora before, before without wanting to run away? Uh, that's because I want to catch a Pokemon and go on a journey with it someday. Then we challenge the gyms and, oh, we're going, oh, we're going back to gyms because, um, Oh my god, this is the first series in a really long time that we've done gym battles. God, I'm trying to think when was...
was the last iteration of, po of uh, Pokemon manga that we've done gym battles because I know Bre uh, I know the first um, Pokemon first arc of Pokemon Adventures we did gym battles. Um, gold, gold and silver we didn't do gym battles. Yeah, gold, silver, and crystal we didn't do gym battles. I think. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. Did, did in uh, Ruby Saf I think in Ruby and Sapphire we did we did gym battles because Sapphire wanted uh, to collect badges, I believe, if I remember correctly. And uh, in Diamond and Pearl, we, um, I Diamond Pearl and Platinum, I don't think we did gym battles. In Unova, I don't think, and, and um, in Black and White, I Black and White we didn't do gym battles, and Black and White too we didn't do gym battles, and so I I know for a fact Sun and Moon we didn't do gym battles. I think this is the first arc in, in Pokemon manga since um Ruby and Sapphire that we're gonna be doing gym battles. Holy shit, it's been a long ass time since we've done gym battles in Pokemon manga. Holy crap! That's kind of nice, actually, now that I think about it. Well, now that I remember, now that I'm thinking about it, I remember, um, it, but in Johto, in the Johto manga, we did have, uh, um, a tournament between, uh, the Kanto gym leaders and the Johto gym leaders. I know that. That was, pr that was fucking cool. We didn't finish, I don't think we finished it, though, because of the interruption from, um, a certain, from a certain gym leader. But I'm trying to remember if the I think, and I know we did. I know we somewhat did a tournament during Emerald's Arc. But I and yeah, I know we did a turn. Yeah, obviously in the beginning we did a tournament during the Sun and Moon, uh, the Sun and Moon Arc. But but I'm talking specifically gym leaders where we we were collecting badges in the manga. I think the last time we collect we were seriously collecting badges. And again, you guys can correct me if I'm wrong. Was um, the Ruby and Sapphire arc? I think that was. Uh, yeah, I think it was the Ruby and Sapphire arc was the last time, and we collected badges in the manga. Holy shit! It's been a long ass time since we collected badges in the manga. Holy shit! That's freaking nuts. Um. Then that's all the more reason to practice, practice, practice. Y'all are uh, gym battles are uh, Dynamax battles, you know. Uh, professor, uh, start it up again. Holy shit. I, I know, like, people are like, like, I know the anime people are like, oh, badges are nothing new, blah, 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 blah. And, like, just the video game only people are, uh, if you're coming into Pokemon manga in this manga, oh, man, you guys need to read the rest of Pokemon Adventures. <laughs> But, um, but like for us manga readers that have been reading Pokemon Adventure since the beginning, this is like a holy shit moment for us because we haven't seen like, we haven't like had a badge journey in a really long time. God, it's been a really long time. Uh, Grookey, use Leafage. Uh, Scorpion, use Ember. Take a good look. Uh, do you see how there's always a short moment, um, of time between offense and defense? God, that's making me think. Are we going to get gym battles in XYZ? I kind of hope we don't. I don't know if we... I don't know if we're going to get gym battles in XYZ. Part of me hopes we do, and part of me hopes we don't. <laughs> um, that's the preparation time before unleashing moves. Um, I, lear I, I learned that at the trainer school. You take advantage of that uh, time and attack, and, um, and you keep doing that to accumulate damage. Considering type uh, compatibility is important too, right? Or Pangoro is a, a dark type Pokemon, so Sir uh, Fetch is a fighting type. It can't. Uh, it can use the move Meteor Assault. That means it has an advantage, dude. It can use me Meteor Assault. Damn, that's fucking cool. Again, I've not played um uh uh Sword and Shield, so I do not know. I've not known this. Uh, this is new to me. That means it has an advantage. Yes, but that's on its own. It's an, um, yes, but, uh, that on its own isn't enough, but it's pretty goddamn cool. When a Pokemon Dynamaxes its stamina and both an attack power both increases, uh, if you're too far away from it, it's easier to get targeted. Um, you've got, uh, to have the courage to get up, up close and personal. Go on. Um, wah! God, this is making me, uh, obviously 
in the anime, we're going to be going on a badge journey for sure. Oof, that really hurt. I, I really don't like this. Pokemon battles are scary. Well, no fucking shit. Sir Fetched, uh, the offensive defense, um, the offensive defense gap. God, this bit, I'm curious in the game if uh, we get the Dynamax shit in the game. I, I kind of hope so. If we, part of me hopes that it's true, and part of me hopes that it's just a manga exclusive because I, it would make more sense. Sir Fetched, uh, um, Meteor Assault. God, that looks cool. You did it, Marvin. Your timing and distance were perfect. Uh, Sir Fetched uh, protected me. A uh, partnership with Pokemon. I learned about it at school, but this is the real thing, huh? Um, I was an honor student at the trainer school in the region I used to live in, uh, but I haven't been able to get use, um, used to my new school here. I stopped being able to go to school, and I haven't had the courage uh, to catch a Pokemon, but but I think I could do it now. Then come with us, huh? Professor, that's fine, right? But... Um, I have to talk to my parents and, uh, prepare first. You can do that once we leave. Uh, oh my god, this is the first time that we've had a, like, again, I think this is the first, no, this is the first time we have a three-person, um, gym, um, journey, a uh, Pokemon gym battle journey ever. Um, unless you want to get, because, yeah, this is ever, because, um, uh, back in, uh, the first arc of Pokemon Adventures, Red was, was by himself, human companion-wise. So, this is the first time we've had a three-person journey, um, a, Poke a Pokemon Gen journey. Like, true journey like this. That's awesome! I'm glad we're getting, because uh, I know the anime people are like, oh, this is nothing new. Blah, 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 blah. Well, this is new for the manga. This is definitely new for the manga. Especially, uh, well, this is new in general if it's definitely, like, three people challenging gyms. Because we never had that before in, uh, in the manga or the anime, now that I think about it. This is definitely something new, and I like it. Come on, in you go. Sue may not look like it, but once he ma makes up his mind, he won't budge. I may not look like it either, but I'm actually a famous scientist here in Galar. Um, I think I can help you get your parents' understanding. Off we go. God, the manga, dude, the manga is definitely being extremely innovative right now. And yes, the manga has always been innovative. The, in terms of Pokemon, um, between the games, if you want to talk about, like, between the, uh, the games, the anime, and the manga, the manga has always been innovative. But, um, but, like, this is being innovative for, even for the manga. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, right, right, I'll be off then. I I'm actually going on a journey. As they say, jump before you look. Well, that was fast. It's all thanks to you three. Um, my parents were surprised, too. Uh, they asked uh, how I'd managed to get acquainted with Professor Magnolia since she's such a famous research authority on uh, Dynamaxing. Dynamaxing is a, a phenomenon that occurs only at specific places in the Galar region called Power Spots. However, I, I like that there's a limitation to uh, Dynamaxing. However, there are more conditions than just a uh, location that must be met for the phenomenon to occur. As part of that research, I had um, Shelly make a simulator. That's not r really what it's for, though. That means... It's to help us train for the gym challenge, of course. That's freaking cool! You're both going to take part? We more so just think it'd be nice if we could. It's really difficult to get an endorsement, I mean. This is freaking innovative as fuck for the manga! Holy shit, this is so innovative for the manga! I love this! Where I'm from, it was possible for anyone to challenge uh, the gyms. Mm, I guess here it's common for trainers trained to be acknowledged locally or by a nearby gym before they enter the ch uh, gym challenge. Uh, you can also get an endorsement from the champion or league, uh, league chairman. What kind of person is, uh, this is so, uh, again, this is so innovative for Pokemon in general. I, again, I don't know if this is, um, in the games at all, but, um, if, uh, you're in a three-person group, um, like this, uh, but, because usually you're solo, and I think that's still the case in the Pokemon games, but, like, I'm going to talk about this in, ter in terms of, uh, let me, let me finish this and then I'm going to talk about how, how fucking innovative this is in terms of the games, or not the games, in terms of the manga and the anime. Because this is goddamn innovative as hell. The manga is really outdoing itself right now. And that's saying a lot. Because the manga is, again, the manga has always been innovative. 
Um, but damn, the manga, the Pokemon manga is really outdoing itself. I'm very impressed right now. What kind of person is Galar's champion? Doesn't that program about the gym challenge start airing tonight? Uh, the champion should be getting some screen time. That reminds me, we haven't had dinner yet. Let's prepare it before uh, the program starts. Visiting the eight stadiums and uh, defeating the um, gym leaders who await their challenge. Uh, furthermore, the trainers who complete the gym challenge earn the right to join the annual tournament in which they vie for the title of league champion. Uh, that tournament is called the Champion Cup. Oh, God, this is, I'm so impressed. Uh, one thing I have to say right now, and I'll mention it again um, during uh, at the end of this um, video, is the fact that, because usually with gyms in general, and we've seen it in the anime too, and I love that the manga mentions it, usually it's easy as fuck to challenge the gym leaders, but I really love that the manga makes is making it harder, and it's, make, it's actually giving it real challenge to challenge the gym leaders. I fucking love that. That is awesome. Um, let's call in our first guest, the current champion undefeated since his debut, Leon. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Oh, God, I love that, too. Or apparently the champion still hasn't been seen in uh, Motostoke, where our, stu uh, Motostoke, where our, our studio is located. Currently, a um, uh, flock of Wulu have um, wa <laughs> have wandered onto the tra uh, train tracks on the outskirts of uh, Westhurst, and uh, the train has been stopped. We believe that the champion may have gotten uh, caught in the conundrum. Uh, the outskirts of Westhurst, the rail line to uh, Motostoke, those are both they're uh, right nearby over there. What did you send out? Um, uh, Vika Volt video drone. That is freaking cool. There he is. It's Leon. Damn, Leon looks freaking cool. There, I love that Le how Leon is dressed. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, they're chasing him. Shouldn't we save him? Oh, look again, Marvin. Charizard, Charizard is, uh, of course it's a Charizard, is hurting them from the other side. Leon is getting their attention and Charizard is chasing them. So they're getting the Wooloo off, the, uh, off of the tracks. Huh? Another hurt came out and replaced the old one. Again? The cycle has been repeating for a while now, Leon. What's driving them to the tracks? Uh, let's see. The problem isn't the tracks, it's in the fence, am I right? Who are you two? I'm Shilly. We'll help you out, Leon. Um, okay, that's convenient that they were close by. Shilly, I'm counting on you to navigate me. Gotcha. So, uh, there's a, cl a cloud of dust in front of you, uh, to the left. Keep going that way. Uh, then turn right. At the very back of the, uh, the herd running around, there's an obstacoon. Oh, shit, that's pretty cool. Uh, that, it must have been scaring, uh, the Wula within the fence. Slam! Yeah, that's, that's obstruct. It's strong enough to withstand a hit from that leak stock? Damn straight it is. If that's the case, we'll confuse it with our footwork. I get it. Now it uh, doesn't know which one uh, to use Obstruct on. Don't worry, the chapter's almost done. Uh, God, this chapter, dude, this bog is really goddamn good. I thought, what, uh, Sun and Moon? I, I, oh God, this manga just keeps getting more innovative with each arc. God. Again, we haven't seen XYZ arc. Which I, again, I'm really, based on what, uh, we've got, what we heard, um, in Sun and Moon arc. Oh, God, XYZ arc is going to be so goddamn hype. Uh, Leon, it's all clear now. Uh, thanks. Of course. More importantly, shouldn't you hurry to the TV studio? If you, uh, you leave now, you'll make it in time for the broadcast. Be careful not to get lost, um, all right, Leon? Uh, Professor Magnolia, do you know these two? I do. They're assisting me in my research. Is Sonia well? Uh, she's quite busy these days bustling about. The Champion Cup starts next week. Please tell her to come this year for sure. I know. I know. You should get going now. You know the champion professor? Uh, that, I'm guessing Sonia's, uh, Leon's waifu. Uh, that went well, didn't, didn't it, you two? I, I'd say so. Your timing was great, professor. Uh, what are you all talking about? On top of taking care of that obstacle, uh, we got the, uh, Wooloo back inside the fence. Doing that much is nothing to Leon, but we stepped in and, uh, offered to help him out, and then we brilliantly, uh, chased off that obstacle. That definitely had to leave an impression on him. Well, obviously... Uh, uh, we did more than just get rid of it, too. We, uh, chased it off with just one glare. That showed incredible strength. And after finding out, uh, we work with the professor, what comes next should be obvious. Hello, Leon. Is something the matter? Trainer endorsement? I see. Someone caught your eye? I see. I see. Very well. Once you get the profile, let me know. Goodbye now. Um, Aliana, of course. Uh, chair, of course, Chairman Rose. Ah, oh, there's the chairman! 
Uh, huh? The show ended? Leon never got to appear after all. He should have been able to make it at least, um, um, for, uh, at least the last, uh, oh my god, where are you slowly shit? He should have been able to make it, uh, for at least the last 30 minutes if he went on that train. That boy has absolutely no sense of direction. Oh my god, he's a Zorro. That's odd. I'm back where I was. <laughs> oh god, we got a Zorro on our hands. Holy shit. Okay, so, let me give you my thoughts on, um, on this chapter in particular. Or, let me give you my thoughts, like, on the fact that we don't have two characters named Sword and Shield. That's already an innovation in itself, because, you, again, usually what we have in uh, Pokemon event, unless the translation for um, Suo and Shelly are, like, a play on um, Sword and Shield in Japanese, we don't have two characters flout out named Sword and Shield, which is really goddamn huge. Um, the fact that we're... Here's the thing. And this is really, again, this is really goddamn innovative for this manga. And this is a huge goddamn step. Is the fact that, again, the, the thing is, is it's not going to be as challenging as I was hoping it was going to be. Uh, but I want to say this about the lore itself. Because that's really goddamn huge. And it's very innovative. The fact that it's more challenging to get into, to start battling gym leaders because you need to have a sponsor, that's really goddamn huge. And I like that. And I like that you have to go to certain points with the, the, with the new technology to actually prepare for the gym battles and that you can't just go train anywhere. Um, I think that's really goddamn inventive and that's really goddamn challenging. And the thing is, though, like with the games... Um, something that I've noticed, because with the games in the beginning, um, with Pokemon games, Pokemon games used to be extremely challenging. And, hell, you can make the argument that Pokemon games, um, are challenging depending on who, uh, your starter is. Um, and, uh, oh, God. But, um, in recent years, Pokemon games have gotten a lot easier. But with the, po with this, um, iteration of the, um, or with this arc of the Pokemon manga, it's made the whole thing more challenging. And I really like that. And I think that's what they were going for. They were saying, basically saying to the games, fuck you guys. You guys are taking the easier route. We're going to take the more difficult route. We're going to make it harder. I think that's what the manga, mangaka wanted to say to the games. And I, uh, to, you know, um, to Game Freak. I think that's what the manga want, wanted to say to Game Freak. And um, that's... an with the games being becoming less innovative, and I know, like, yeah, you can make the argument that in some ways the games the games still have their little things where they become innovative. But you can also, again, you can make the argument that the games have become less innovative whereas, with each generation, whereas the manga has always, you know, done its own thing and be, have become more creative. And it's the same thing with the anime. The anime has really done its own thing and all that shit. But the manga has always done something that's always been more innovative, always done something different, always had new characters for each generation, whereas the anime has always stuck with Ash. But um, the thing that the manga has really done different this um, with this arc, slash with this generation, that I really, really like, and it's completely different than what we've seen in any it, um, form of Pokemon media, whether it's the manga, whether it's the games, whether it's the anime, is the fact that our main three characters, the fact, yeah, that our main three characters are both, are all, all three of them are uh, challenging the gyms, that all three of them are going to participate in the gym uh, battles. That is freaking huge. That is huge because that has never happened in the history of Pokemon. That has never freaking happened. That has never happened in the manga before. That has never happened in um, the games before. Usually it's only two. But they've never traveled together. And that has never happened in the anime before. Yeah, you can make the argument that in the anime and Unova that they've had multiple uh, trainers um, that Ash has become friends with, challenged um, uh, the League. Yeah, you can make that goddamn argument. But the thing is, though, they never... And yes, they've traveled at the same time, but they never traveled together from the uh, from the start of the series to the end of the series... From the very beginning of the series, excuse me, like this. This is freaking huge! 
And also this techno and also make it this challenging. This is amazing. I really like this. This is huge. I'm really proud of the manga right now. I and I've always loved Pokemon. I've loved Pokemon manga from um, ever since I started reading it. But this is really got like the Pokemon ma and also the Pokemon manga always outdoes itself with every um uh with every generation and again I cannot and we haven't gotten to XYZ yet um and fucking a I can't wait to get to XYZ especially with the with the little hint that we got in the um Sun and Moon manga which by the way if you have not read the Sun and Moon manga go fucking read it the Sun and Moon manga is goddamn amazing um, because I don't think that what we've explored in the Sun and Moon manga have, was even explored in the games, which is saying a lot. And it's a goddamn shame because I, I really would have loved to see that shit explored, especially in the anime. But, um, anyway. I'm really curious what you guys think. Um, I know it's only two chapters that we've gotten so far. But I really love the potential we see, we're seeing in these, in just in these two chapters. I really love the lore we've gotten so far. And especially since this is the first time since uh, Ruby and Sapphire. The, I, I, again, I could be wrong. Because um, that because uh, I believe Sa I, I, I Again, you guys can correct me in the comment section. Because I believe Sapphire um, did gym battles as well. Because I, cause Sap cause I believe Sapphire was doing that shit. Um, if not, this is the, if I'm wrong and this is, um, and Sapphire didn't, this is the first time since the first goddamn arc of Pokemon Adventures that we've done gym battles. That we've done a gym battle, you know, what I mean by gym battles is collecting badges like this. That we we're basically focusing on collecting badges. And that is goddamn huge. This is freaking huge. For the, and I know if you are strictly a video game or um, anime watcher, first of all, why the fuck are you why the fuck are you starting off with this manga? And why have you not read all of Pokemon Adventures and uh, Pokemon Sun and Moon? Why? Go. I know it's a lot of goddamn chapters in Pokemon Adventures. It's not that many in Pokemon Sun and Moon, but seriously, start off with Pokemon Adventures. It is goddamn worth it. Um, but ugh, I don't understand. But anyway, very curious what you got your guys' thoughts on this manga are. Um, do you guys see the potential that I'm seeing with this? And do you guys think that the manga is really outdoing itself again? And, oh God, I, at some point, I know that they would ruin this if it ever got adapted. I know it would get ruined if, if the Pokemon company wise the fuck up and it just decided to adapt the anime. Uh, 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 sorry, adapted the manga. But seriously, just when will we ever get this manga adapted? For the love of goddamn God, when will we ever get this manga adapted? I know part of me never wants it to get adapted because it's just so perfect. But goddamn it, like people, the thing that, again, the thing that frustrates me is people are too lazy to goddamn read manga, but they'll read goddamn subtitles. It's just like, God. Ah! Seriously. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigans Inc. If you love what I'm doing and want to help keep uh, this uh, channel alive so I can keep bringing you more Pokemon manga, uh, whether it's Adventures, Sun and Moon, or Sword and Shield, there's a few ways you could do that. You could do that. Uh, you could donate to my PayPal, Patreon, GoFundMe. Uh, purchase something off my Amazon wish list. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, find me on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye.